So the day that I'm working on this is actually the 7th anniversary for Blackpink and I'm actually working on the banners for our concert. So I made Blackpink in Bay Area. So I did that and this is the back and it just says Jen Chu Li Chang which is their, uh, their nicknames or their names in the fan chants for a lot of the fan chants. So Jen Chu Li Chang. Jin is Jenny. Chu is Jisoo. Li is Lisa. Chang is Rose. Uh, so yeah, it's all based on their, um, based on their nicknames and also based on their real names. So, yep. I'm excited with how this turned out. Can't wait to see what the final product looks like when Jean prints it out and laminates it. I'm so proud of myself, I can't believe I did this. <laughs> On Canva, no less. I also got my nails done too. Um, I just looked up black pink nails and this was simple enough but it still looked edgy enough because they're pointy. <laughs> this is the most sharpened I've done my nails in a long time. So um, I just did like a V French uh, nail with pink and black ink, or pink, pink and black nail polish so I think it turned out really good they're very feminine they're very dark and edgy nails look fantastic I don't know how hand models do this <laughs> but uh, basically yeah these are my nails taste that pink venom <laughs> So you guys know the drill. I usually deal with my mental health problems through journaling, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm filling out today's uh, one-a-day journal in my Rilakkuma weekly and monthly planner, so that's what I'm doing now. And then up until the night time, I'm going to go ahead and chill and take down my habit trackers for my exercise, my stress, my creativity, and my overall contentment with life. So I'm just putting that in the graph below and then checking off my habits um, that I did today. So that keeps me motivated and keeps me in a positive mood. And I decided because I had a little bit more of an elevated mood to go ahead and plan the next two weeks. Um, leading up to the Blackpink concert and I discovered that I really miss sticker decorating my planners and journals so I decided to do that and that helped me really get my creative juices flowing and it just made me happy so I just did that for a couple of hours and let it flow. Here I'm doing my daily Wobot check-in. Um, Wobot was recommended to me by my psychiatrist uh, while I was still in limbo waiting for a therapist to be covered by my insurance, which I'll talk more about later. But basically this app goes through a series of CBT or cognitive behavior therapy uh, exercises and uh, skills that a normal therapist would be able to do it just happens to be a robot so i use this daily whenever i don't have therapy so this is going to be a good precursor for anyone who's still waiting to have a therapist so it's good it's a good app i like it it's been a few days and i am still struggling with coming off of the lows of my bipolar disorder basically i had a depressive episode 
was followed up by a series of days where I was having abnormally high elevated mood and then only for it to crash down back to a depressive episode so that's what's been going on and I've had bipolar disorder since 2019 I think um, it was about a year or so after I found out that um, I had severe depression after I left school and started to live on my own. Um, but yeah, I've been living with this disorder for six years now, at least documented six years. I'm pretty sure my family has a history of this kind of mental health disorder, um, but that's for their that's for them to share. It's been rough the last few days. And I'm still de dealing with negative thoughts, and um, I've signed up for talk therapy with my insurance, so that way it's covered. Um, I had to let go of my talk therapist that I was seeing um, at the beginning of the year because one, I thought at the time I thought I didn't need therapy anymore, which obviously I do. <laughs> um, second of all, I'm really disappointed that. Um, my talk therapist wasn't covered by insurance just because she's a Christian uh, therapist, so she's technically out of network. Um, not because of that, but like it just sucks that every single time that I found a Christian therapist that I liked, um, they're out of network, not covered by insurance. So I have to pay a lot of money just to see them, which is... Um, it's not like I don't want to pay my therapist or anything like that. It's just, it's really hard in my situation financially to afford therapy. Um, but I'm glad I'm finding a solution um, that fits with my financial goals, financial situation. Um, but other than that, it's just... It's just gonna take a while. Uh, next week is when I have my appointments, so that'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, so I'm just trying to get through this week um, as best as I can with the tools that I have and the resources that I have, so that's that.
Because I'm a fangirl, I got the Blackpink Touchland Power Mist. It's blue sandalwood, but it smells like nectarines, and I love it. It smells so good, and it's definitely worth the 10 bucks that you spend for it. Also, it matches my nails. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm so ready for the concert in two weeks.